Austin McBroom had quite the night last night and not in a good way. Maybe he got his karma for scamming fans, but he sure got hit with something, that's for sure. He had his big fight against Gibb last night, the one him and Catherine have been hyping up for the last couple months. This is also the fight that he literally postponed his own wedding for, so that adds a whole other layer to how bad this really all was. The fight was a disaster for the Ace family, and I'm gonna break it all down from the beginning of the event to how it ended. To start, the event was already weird just by the fact that it was postponed. It was supposed to be in July, just a couple weeks after Ace Fest, but then they had to reschedule to this new date. A date that Austin and Catherine claimed was the day after the wedding that they had planned. So they decided to cancel their wedding, move it to a different day, so that the fight could happen on September 10th. Their wedding was set for the 9th. In case you're confused, yes, they're already legally married, but they never had a party, so that's what this was supposed to be. Anyway, because of the change in plan from July to September, they also decided to make some other changes, including the venue for the event. And it's unclear as to why they chose to change the venue. It was originally supposed to be the Crypto.com Arena, but then they moved it to a bigger venue, a stadium, except they were selling way less tickets for the stadium. They were only going to be selling tickets for one third of the space. And it was for sure confusing to people why they would choose a bigger venue, but sell only a portion of the tickets for the space. And it wasn't looking too good when there were weren't looking to be too many tickets sold. And I mean, the prices were pretty high. We're talking like $500 to be on the floor close to the ring. And that's a lot of money for an event headlined by Austin McBroom. Now, as for the day of the fight, Austin got on his Instagram story to try and pitch it once again for people to watch the fight. He also made a YouTube video with Catherine where they put the link to Ticketmaster, still asking people to try and come to the event and actually show up and buy tickets for it, not just promoting the stream. He also tried to address in his Instagram story the fact that haters have been coming for him and he was about to prove everybody wrong. You know, as you all know, it's been a roller coaster with this journey that I've been on. And there's been a lot of people trying to sabotage, you know, my name and this event. People saying it was canceled when it was not. Um, a lot of misinformation, a lot of false lies, a lot of false narratives. But for all my day ones and all my people who really support me and my family and support you know, this journey, I really do appreciate y'all from the bottom of my heart. It means so much to me. So him talking about proving everyone wrong? Mm, I don't know about that. But he was talking about haters and liars and all of that. It ended up that the only liar was Austin and Catherine because you guys, the stream was supposed to be free for people who purchased VIP tickets to Ace Fest. And this is a huge deal. I mean, I truly don't understand what Austin and Catherine think they gain by scamming the few people left still willing to spend money on them. But they literally said that you would watch Austin's next fight for free if you bought a VIP ticket pass to Ace Fest. It literally says it right there. They said it in their video as well. You also get to watch my next fight for free, which is coming up very soon. I'll be making an announcement very soon. Except they never sent out any sort of email. They never said what a code would be, nothing not a word to VIP ticket buyers, which makes me feel bad for people who actually bought these tickets and like the H family and expect to be given these promises. That's just such a shame. So that's just ridiculous. And other people who bought a ticket to Asus were wondering what the deal was with them not following through on this promise. Someone said, I bought Ace Fest VIP tickets and it was advertised we would get the fight for free as well. I have no idea how to even get it for free and there is no word on how to access it. Pretty frustrating. And the fight was like $40. So that's a lot of money to ask people who already spent like $500 on a pasta Ace Fest and expected to get this for free. Like you're over here saying that this is a value of $1,500 discounted to $4.99 and you still can't even come through on all the things that that includes. But am I surprised? No. I'm sure they realized that doing this would limit the amount of money that they would make last night because true Ace Family fans who are 
willing to spend money on them were probably the ones to go to Ace Fest. And if they aren't spending money on the live stream to watch Austin fight, then who on earth is going to spend money on them? So instead of following through on a promise, it seems like they decided to act like they never said that they would give out a free link to Ace Fest VIP pass holders and make them buy it if they were that willing to watch the fight. Which is so sad and a shame for them to do this to the people that are still willing to believe their words and spend their hard-earned money on them. And if they can live like that, knowing they scam people, that is just sad. I will say shout out to people who streamed it on TikTok because that's how I was able to watch this fight. But as for how this event went downhill, it wasn't looking too good for the turnout. There were rumors of only like 200 tickets being sold and it kind of looked like that just based on shots of the crowd that were shown in the live stream and photos that were going around from the event. And not to mention that this event started off on a whole other mess because it was two hours delayed and they didn't even announce that it was going to be delayed until 30 minutes before the event. And fans who had previously bought tickets and went to the event were left waiting outside for far longer than they should have been. So some prior knowledge of a delay would have been really great. But once they left everybody in, it definitely was clear that this event wasn't even going to remotely look at all sold out. Tons of people were reporting on how empty the venue was. And for all the talk Austin had done, this was embarrassing for sure. KSI even took the time to mock him on Instagram saying, still quite a lot of tickets left on fight day at Austin McBroom. If you somehow manage to win, don't you dare try to come to me with some stupid offer. This event has shown your worth. You ain't on my level, which if you guys don't know, KSI recently sold out his fight. Austin replied to KSI saying, don't you dare start making excuses already. Let's not forget, I'm fighting a guy no one knows who the F he is out here. I'm basically fighting myself. But KSI hit him back saying, your promotion has been shit though. Don't start making excuses now. People still weren't filling in the seats, even leading up to Austin's fight, the literal main fight of the night. And the internet was having a field day with the fact that the place looked empty. And apparently they did sell like around 200, 250 tickets and they gave away a thousand free tickets. Like they invited friends and family and all those people got to go for free. And those are pretty much like the large body of people in the crowd were like people that went for free. But KSI posted a photo of the near empty stadium and said, at Austin McBroom, followed by and social gloves for good and a photo of Gibb. Others said, POV, you're at Gibb versus McBroom fight. Austin McBroom and Gibb when they finally go out for their fight later. Now, when it came to the fight of the night, Austin, when he came out, it looked like there was some drama going on. He was stopped in his tracks and looked so thrown off by something that was said to him. And if you were watching the stream, they even cut the stream as he was walking out because of whatever was throwing him off. Just by watching the videos back and like using context clues to my best guess the guy that was bugging Austin worked at the stadium and it sounded like he just didn't want Austin to walk out with so many people and that was going to be a safety hazard because the guy kept calling over for LAPD and saying that he was going to charge Austin money he was going to take his money so I feel like maybe he was about to get fined for breaking some sort of like safety protocol that they had when he was trying to walk out with like a billion people next to him but that's just what I think but he definitely thought he was the man last night because when he was walking out he was walking out with YG and Tyga and I think he got way too cocky about this event and his entire boxing career. And reality literally smacked him in the face last night when he ended up hitting the ground five times. Five times he was down and these hits were hard. And then they finally called the fight and Gibb won. Someone left a comment insinuating that this was all karma for the last fight saying those knockouts were for everyone that didn't get their checks at the first event. I also saw this other comment on someone's video who posted like a couple clips from the stream and I want to read it to you guys and discuss it a little bit. They said, the reason I'm so glad that Gibb won is because of the fact that Austin McBroom thought he was him when he is not. He thought he could do what Jake and JJ does, but failed horribly. He overpriced himself, scammed hardworking fighters, and is a horrible promoter. Hate on me for bashing a man while he's down, but his loss tonight was deserving. He thought he could play boxing and got smoked. I was a Gibb doubter up until the knockout, but Gibb showed heart, skill, and perseverance which is great to see after his embarrassing loss to Jake back in 2020. 
I think Austin saw what Jake and KSI were doing, saw dollar signs, and let that take over. It seemed like he was putting work into training, but he was getting too carried away with thinking he was on the same level as Jake and KSI. I mean, if you look at their YouTube channels, they do have similar subscriber counts, but I think he looked at that number and thought that he would automatically get the same amount of money, the same amount of attention, the same amount of bodies in the stadium seats. He's a family channel. His audience is young kids and families. And that's just simply not the same audience looking to watch a boxing match. You need to pay attention to the demographic. I think Austin really thought, I have all these followers, they will come through for me. And didn't think about how much you really have to promote something like this and how his name might not be enough to carry an event to sell out. You'd think after the last fight, he would have realized people were not going to come through and purchase his fight like he thought they would. Because the reason people did not get paid like how they were promised last time was because Austin overpromised payments because he assumed based on everyone's followings that a lot more people were going to come through and buy the fight, come to the fight, but he failed to realize that demographics are wildly different for a fight versus whatever people are known for on whatever platform they have a big following on. I also think that if he just humbled himself and didn't start his own boxing event company, he could have majorly benefited from being under someone else's card. Let someone else take the reins. I don't know why him and Catherine time and time again are trying to run the show, most likely because they think that they'll get the bigger check at the end of the day, but at what cost? Their reputations are not good and people have realized how much they've scammed people and it's for sure hurt their events and things they need people to show up for. If Austin fought under someone else's card, like if he fought under KSI, he would be in such a better position, not having to stress about a venue, paying people, getting people to fill seats, hiring every little worker, getting people to fight alongside with him, getting people to fight under him. All that extra stress could be taken away if he just humbled himself enough to fight under somebody else. And he would honestly probably get a bigger check at the end of the day because I feel like they totally lost money on this event. Maybe this will all cause him and Catherine to reevaluate how they do events in the future, but but who knows? Honestly, these two are so interesting when it comes to handling any kind of situation. And they always seem to have some sort of excuse for why something didn't work out. Or they literally get on camera and fake it and say, the event was such a success even though we all saw what it was like. Now, I'll say that the internet wasn't the only ones to have a field day. After seeing Austin lose, Gibb was very quick to tweet out, no mercy. And KSI, of course, had to comment saying, congrats fam, at Gibb. KSI also posted this Photoshop photo that was going around on the internet of Gibb on top of Austin's face in this family photo. And oh my gosh. He also posted a photo of Austin on the ground, tagged him and was just laughing about it. According to some videos, and articles, it looked and sounded like Austin had to leave in a stretcher from the event, which is definitely not the way he wanted to go out with the way that he was talking all that smack leading up to the event. And maybe it was the overconfidence that got him. I truly wonder if he's even embarrassed, but I could see him getting on camera to make some sort of excuse about why he went down, maybe blaming it on how he was thrown off when he was walking out. But it's the Ace family we're talking about. There's not much humbling ever really going on with them. And anytime they've looked like they were in a pickle, they try to pretend like they're not. And can they please address why they ghosted Ace Fest VIP ticket holders and never sent out a code? That's just so frustrating. And I don't know how they think they can keep getting away with scamming the only people left giving them money. It's a shame and they should honestly be embarrassed about that because they literally put themselves in a position to not follow through on their promises to fans in an attempt to save their event and make a few extra bucks on people just giving up and buying the fight to stream it. Sad, honestly, but that's what went down at the McBroom vs. Gibb fight last night. I definitely want to know if you guys saw any clips from the fight. I know that they have been going around on the internet, so let me know what you guys think. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys. Thank <laughs> you.